Good morning. Um, I'm off to a festival today, so I thought I'd do a nice little get ready with me. Um, so I've fake tan last night. Had my nails done. These are cute. Had them done yesterday. Showered, had a hair wash, done that. And then I just thought I'd sit down, have a chat while I do my makeup and my hair. Um, my makeup is still the same as it's been for ages, but you know, it's a nice time for a little chat. I'm going to, it's not a big festival actually, I'm going to Bardfest in Bury St Edmunds today. Um, the vamps are headlining which is why I'm going basically. Um, I think I'm gonna make up as usual but fun stuff for my hair. Oh, I was going to do gold eyes, but I don't know whether to do pink. But yeah, I think I'm just going to do my normal makeup. And then I think I'm going to put some hair tinsel in my hair. And some like cute little plaits. Depending on how much time I have. Depends on what I end up doing. Because I need to leave to get one of my friends about... 11-ish and I think it's 10 o'clock so I've got a bit of time um, I've got two outfit options a black sequin skirt with a t-shirt or black denim shorts with a gold sparkly top which is why I don't know what to do with my eyes but my hair tinsel is pink so like pink eyes pink hair tinsel let's go for pink I think right I'm going in with a loose pigment from MAC. Um, 10 out of 10 recommend these, to be honest. I don't, I would highly recommend this because I mean, it's probably way over its best before, but it lasts so long and it's such a pretty color. Although it doesn't look like it's showing up in the mirror, so it's not probably not coming up on camera either. Off to the vamps, well, to Bardfest. JC Stewart's playing as well, I quite like him, so I think it'll be a really fun day. I might take some clips there, but I'm not gonna vlog because I'm too embarrassed to do that. And this is my first festival of the year. I said in my, in last week's video that I, um, I'm going to SGP and Boardmasters. SGP is in literally three weeks boardmasters must be in about five but i don't think i'll have like a festival get ready i think i'm gonna film like pack and prep with me like i did for boardmasters last year but sgp i'll do like a pack and prep but i'm not filming there because i don't know the group of people i'm going with very well but i think i might film at boardmasters this year and do like a full vlog because i think that would be fun um and if anyone's got any questions about Boardmasters, because I've had a few pop up on my videos. Let me know because I've done a couple of times, so I'm more than happy to answer any questions anybody might have. We're all debating, but well, there's only three of us going today. But we're debating whether we need jackets and that kind of stuff. We're also debating whether to put glitter on or not. I was going to do a little wing but I've decided against that because I've got enough going on to have to faff with that I think. Same as always L'Oreal Infallible 32 hour foundation. I love this stuff but I mean it's not a problem today because I am tan but I've only got one shade of foundation and it is my tan shade so a lot of the time I walk around looking crazy. But yeah I really recommend this up. Um, if you've been around for a while you know that I struggled to find one that I liked for my skin I used to use Fenty and the first bottle I used was great on my skin and then the second bottle just like kept peeling off my nose it was weird I had a few foundations that wouldn't sit on my nose which I don't know if that was maybe what my skin was going through a bit of a rough time 
I didn't put any sun cream on. Oh, but there was SPF in my primer and I think there's SPF in my foundation. I'm tempted to pick up that Garnier Over Makeup sun cream spray as well. Because obviously you need to reapply sun cream, but I'll put it on in the morning before I do my makeup and stuff. When I remember, I'm not perfect. But surely that's not long enough for the whole day, so you need to reapply, but you're not gonna rub sun cream into your makeup are you doing so i feel like that over makeup spray could be life-changing especially for like ha holidays and festivals because i mean like sometimes when you're on holiday in the sun you don't wear makeup by the pool so it's a bit different but like at a festival you are gonna be wearing makeup all day although you're not really allowed aerosols are you so i guess might not work not mine or work, mine not be allowed in. I need to check on the recording. I am. You know, I always check, but, and I always have been, but then when I was baking the cake in last week's video, the one time I didn't check, I hadn't actually recorded me like throwing the chocolate over the cake, which was like the best bit, and I was so annoyed at myself. I think I might film uh, what I wore this week as well, or like what what I wear in a week this week, like coming up and start today. So like, there's a bit of fun in it because working from home, I do spend quite a lot of time in like loungewear or pajamas. I do get dressed every day, but like, if I don't have a meeting until like eleven, sometimes I don't get dressed until like half ten, eleven. I feel like I need to get out of that habit. I want to get myself in like a proper morning routine and just actually functioning properly. That is my foundation done. She says she keeps patting it in. And then I think I'm going to go in with my Chanel bronzer. I think it's like creme de soleil or something. Oh my gosh, that reminds me. I need to do my French before I leave. I'm a Duolingo, 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 whatever it's called, queen. Love that, wanna be fluent. So, yeah, one of my life goals is to be fluent in French. And I go through stages of like doing loads of Duolingo and then not doing any and at the minute we're on a 30 day streak so I'm not losing that. I just think, I always feel when I go abroad, everyone else can speak like some English but I feel so rude that I can only speak English. I might understand some of the stuff people say in French like when I go to France but I, even what I do know I'm too shy to speak and I feel like they would appreciate it more if I tried. I get too nervous because I'm worried I'm saying things wrong. I'm gonna like confuse the situation. I don't know if I do this right either. Probably doesn't look any different. I think I'm gonna have to get dressed before I hair tint them and do my hair as well. It's annoying because all week it's said sun, but today it's like really cloudy. So like obviously we've prepped like summery outfits, but it's that whole like, what jacket do you take? Is it gonna rain? And then I'm gonna put some powder bronzer on to set that. Actually I have got a sample of Laura Mercier, which I might use to powder my actual face yeah let's let's go in with the Laura Mercier shall we I don't know if I've spoken about this already but I ordered Olaflex which I am really liking and um, and I ordered it from Space NK and it came with like 
a sample of this and a sample of the like pillow sleep spray but actually the sample of the powder has lasted me quite a while i don't know that it does enough for me to justify the price buying a full size one but if there's always free samples on space in case i may think i might always pick this because it lasts quite a while i don't use it every time i put makeup on but obviously there is a high chance this won't be the sample the next time i get around to ordering I would like to try one of those the, like velvet puffs that people are using to like powder their face and it just like blurs them. I can't think what they're called. Right, and then the Dior blush, my holy grail. I love this. If you haven't seen it, just look how pretty that is. Such a cute colour. Although I feel sometimes I pick up so much more on my brush than other times. I feel like right now there's a lot going on, but I'm sure I can sort that out. Is that too much? Maybe a little bit. As much as I definitely would leave it, I feel. I just realised I held the keep holding the mirror up in front of the camera, which isn't really doing anything to help is it right then we have highlight and then i'm gonna do my brow mascara and actual mascara oh that one feels quite quick but i probably checked the time in a minute and it wasn't quick at all so oh and then i'll come back to lips in a bit when i've like finished my coffee and brushed my teeth again and stuff like that You're not actually getting there until like two so my makeup is going to be on for like three hours before we get there but it has to be done because i have to leave at 11. right mascara I do love putting on mascara, but I find sometimes I struggle to get like my eyes look equal on both sides. Don't know if that makes sense to anybody. Oh, I know what we haven't spoken about. Really unrelated. I've turned into a spin queen. Like I love going to spin. That is my current workout. I just love it and like that is so far from me like if you know me well you know like I literally don't like bikes I don't want to go cycling however apparently I love spin I think it's a competitiveness of it it's like racing against yourself but also secretly maybe against the other people in the class maybe nobody else is like that but Also, I quite like knowing that I'm like not going to get hit by a car. It could fall off. Well, I could fall off, I guess. Hopefully I won't. God, could you imagine falling off a bike and just being fucked? Also, really like the like PTs and instructors have to do the class with you instead of just like shout instructions at you. That is my makeup. I'm done. Um, I think I'm gonna get dressed, finish drying my hair, and then I'll come back and like style my hair on camera. It might be a case of I literally have to time lapse it, but I feel like we're on time, so we might be okay. Um, cheers. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, I'm dressed. Mm -hmm.
I'm dressed. So I'll do a full outfit of the day in a minute, but I think what I'm gonna do is stick some hair, tem hair tinsel in. Um, and go from there, to be honest. I've got about half an hour, so I've got those time. Although I haven't, haven't put hair tinsel in for a while, so we'll actually see how this goes. Maybe this will, I just like to get, I think I'm going to aim for like four bits. I don't want to put too much in because it like stays in the hair for a few days, but also I want to have enough in. It's worthwhile putting it in. I need my hairbrush. I've got earrings picked out as well. I've been semi-organised actually for once because I've got a busy weekend because I'm out tomorrow. Crazy. Crazy. If you're a hairdresser, it's probably best to close your eyes. <laughs> because I literally tie my real hair in a knot. going to a concert and you're like convinced they're gonna like pull you out from the crowd and be like wow I'm in love with you I still have that in my head at 22 at 23 that Bradley Simpson is gonna see me and be like she's the girl for me I always think about I think I've said this before I always think about how embarrassing it would be if Brad ever like stumbled across these videos and he, when he's my boyfriend god that makes me feel sick like the thought that traumatising you know when like people date their like celeb idols, like other celebs that fancy other celebs, but they have been like very vocal about liking them beforehand. I'm always like, how does that feel? Like, are you embarrassed that the whole world knows you fancy? Them? Well, I guess you won. You've literally got your dream guy. So actually, if anyone's judging you, it's jealousy, isn't it? Because let's be real, if I was dating Brad, he would know I fancied him anyway. I think that one's likely to cut out. We'll do another few on the top layer. God, flying through it. I'm not putting many on the top, maybe another two max. Hair texture is definitely changing as well. little plat time but that's cute a little bit of sparkle perfect for a festival
hair is done i'm gonna finish my coffee brush my teeth put some socks on and then i'll come back to show my full outfit i don't know how i feel about my hair like this this is annoying because this hasn't gone as well i might clip these back you'll see in a minute anyway but i'll be back in a sec okie dokes i'm all ready to go so i've got this little top from top shop these shorts from h m then i've just got a pair of black converse on and these earrings from nasty girl so yeah proper festy vibes and a little black jacket for the evening so hopefully there'll be some clips some outfit pics but if not i'll see you later bye so